Hello from the basement that was two days ago flooded from the torrential downpours that we've been having. Um, so this is two weeks to the day after my surgery. Let's have a little incision checkup. Has just a little bit of the glue left on it. Um, and whereas last week it wasn't painful at all, today there's a feeling sometimes like, like it's being pulled like this. So I'm not doing a lot of big motions around here. Um, I went to my first physical therapy appointment today. Uh, it was kind of a disappointment. Uh, only we, we talked for like five or six minutes and then set up a bunch of appointments to come later. So um, the three main exercises he wants me to do are shoulder blade squeezes, um, it's going to be arm rolls, and then diaphragmatic breathing. Um, which is something I already do anyway, but um, I could do more of it. Anybody could do more of it. It's good for you. Um, let's see. So there's progress in some ways and uh, setbacks in others. Um, so my scapula is still really, really painful. Um, and the only thing that puts any kind of a dent into it, unfortunately, is oxycodone. Uh, I'm taking half of one, usually in the middle of the day and a half of one with some melatonin at night to help me sleep. Um, I have also all kinds of incredible sensitivity, um, mostly along the underside of my arm. Um, and that was, um, that's just nerves waking up, so I kind of welcome that. And that's one of the other reasons why I'm not taking such a big dose of the opioids, because I feel like I need to feel what's going on here a lot. Um, what else? I'm back driving, so watch out on the streets. Um, oh yeah, remember in the, the first video, I'm like, God, it's just so incredibly painful. Um, so there's two things. I, I couldn't really figure out why it'd be so painful, because they clipped the, the pectoralis minor here. I, for some reason, was like, oh yeah, they're going to clip it here. No, it's here, which is why there was such a massive bruise. And also, my skin is like peeling and flaking, because apparently it was really stretched a lot during the procedure. Anyway, um, but then I developed pleurisy, so I had like a real like inflammation going on in my chest and it only recently has gone away um, and coughing and sneezing and stuff still hurts, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I mean, I had one cough uh, like the day after the surgery. I was actually like sobbing like a child afterwards, so could be worse. Anyway, um, they say walking is going to be really good for me. Gravity is kind of the enemy still, so I can be sitting or standing for a couple hours, and then I have to lie down for a couple hours. Um, and mostly it's just the pain in my scapula. Um, so I think that that's probably it. I've got physical therapy appointments coming up on Friday, and... The only time they have is at 7 a.m. and it's smack in the middle of DC, smack in the middle of rush hour. So it's gonna be fun. I might just get up like extra early or something and I don't know, do something in DC for an hour while I'm waiting for that to happen because the rush hour here is like from five in the morning till 9.30 in the morning, it's insane. Anyway, um... oh yeah, also, um everything is worn off now from the block. So like there's no numbness. I can feel like absolutely everything on the side of my body. Um, still no cello, of course, it's gonna be a while. Um, but it might not be months and months. It might only be a month. Uh, we're just gonna see how the physical therapy goes from there. Um, and they also made me define what I wanted out of the physical therapy. And so just for posterity, um, I would like the pain in my scapula to be resolved I would like my physiology to be retrained because part of the reason I got here in the first place is that I was using certain muscles to do other muscles jobs, which is why these scalenes got so gigantic, uh, is because they were doing the job that actually these muscles in my back were supposed to do in terms of moving my arms and supporting my, my musculature or my, my skeleton. So 
those are my two main things. And then um, I was actually a little emotional because the third thing I wrote was I would like to resume my cello performance career. And that, I hold out hope for it. Clearly, you wouldn't get the surgery if you like didn't hold out hope for it. But it does seem like an insane thing to wish for. Like, I can't even, I can't even really conceive of it. Um, but a nice halfway point would be I would like to at least be able to play a lot more with my students. So that's kind of like my more near goal. Anyway, so that's the update for this week. If anything else interesting happens, I will be back here. And thank you for all the messages of support and cello-y solidarity. I appreciate it, and I love you all. Thanks.